Welcome to a journey of innovation and ambition. Today, we'll uncover the incredible stories behind Egypt's monumental engineering feats, the Toshka Canal, and the New Delta Project. Before we delve further into this extraordinary project, don't forget to hit that subscribe button like and share the video as it's the best way to help us grow as a channel. Long-term stability in Egypt depends on the success of the New Nile project. We need creative answers if we're going to make up for the fact that our population is expanding and our water supply is shrinking. Beginning in 2019, thousands of hardworking people have been plowing through the elements to bring the New Nile project in on schedule. The New Nile project is an innovative undertaking, and we anticipate its full potential will be realized in the years to come. We appreciate you coming us on our tour of the largest man-made river in the Sahara. Egypt is constructing the largest artificial river in the world, despite its well-known deserts and ancient pyramids. The Toshka Canal is an astounding engineering feat being undertaken in the center of the Sahara. Over 1,800 kilometers in length, the Toshka Canal is an enormous project. It's being developed to transport Nile River water to the western desert, where precipitation is scarce and fresh water is scarce. The initiative is anticipated to revitalize the area by introducing agriculture and stimulating economic growth in the desert. Bringing water to the desert through the Toshka Canal is not a novel concept. The concept of constructing a canal in this area has been around since the time of the pharaohs. Ancient Egypt flourished because of the Nile River, which supplied a steady supply of water for farming and irrigation. However, the western desert was left dry and barren in Egypt's western portion. Bringing water to the Western Desert is a goal that has inspired many individuals over the millennia. Sir William Wilcox, a British engineer, planned a major irrigation project in the late 1800s that would send water from the Nile to the desert. However, the Egyptian government didn't start building the Toshka Canal until the 1980s. Lack of funds and the challenging nature of construction in the desert have been two of the project's biggest obstacles. The Toshka Canal is taking shape gradually in spite of the difficulties. As of now, 100 kilometers of the canal have been built, marking the end of the first stage of the project. Crops like as wheat, barley, and vegetables are now being produced in the desert thanks to this portion of the canal. The canal has the potential to reshape the area, bringing urban centers to an otherwise arid region. The Toshka Canal may have far-reaching consequences for Egypt and the surrounding area. It might aid in increasing agricultural output and reducing water scarcity. It has the potential to increase economic activity in the desert, which might have a positive effect on poverty levels and quality of life. Concerns have been raised, however, regarding the project's potential effects on the environment. Some scientists are concerned that the canal may damage desert ecosystems and cause the extinction of native species. Culturally and politically, the Toshka Canal is significant for Egypt and the surrounding area. The project is significant to many Egyptians because it represents the country's triumph over the desert and the successful cultivation of previously unusable territory. However, there are many who believe it is a waste of time and money to continue with the project. Multiple countries in the region compete for Nile water, so this situation has the potential to spark war. Egypt is known for its pyramids and deserts, but a big construction project is altering the country's appearance. There are advocates and detractors of the Toshka Canal, which is giving the desert a fresh lease on life. The canal has environmental and political ramifications, but it also has the potential to increase agricultural output and provide new jobs. The Toshka Canal is a symbol of Egypt's ability to overcome the desert and make the land bloom, in a country where the Nile River is a source of life and culture. However, not everyone agrees that the risks and expenses of pursuing this initiative are justified. Egypt is moving forward with plans to construct the largest artificial river in an effort to improve resource security and reduce its reliance on foreign wheat suppliers. The New Delta Project, which will cost E pound 160 BN, 5.25 billion dollars, and span 114 kilometers, will be the largest of its kind in Egypt and the longest man-made river in the world in order to transport water from the north coast over the entirety of the western desert to the New Delta Agricultural Zone. The river will follow the Rod El Farag El Daba axis road. In addition, 
It will include access points at a number of seaports and airfields. Egypt's President Abdel Fattah al-Sisi and Prime Minister Mostafa Madbouli have backed a joint effort between the ministries of water resources and irrigation and agriculture and land resources called New Delta. Once New Delta is fully operational, it will be able to irrigate 9,200 square kilometers of the western desert, making more land there suitable for growing crops like wheat. Although its primary goal is to improve agricultural output by increasing water resources and irrigation, this project will also help restore abandoned land, stimulate the economy, and produce more than 10,000 new employment. According to the State Information Service, the initiative would provide high-quality agricultural products at reasonable prices for citizens and export the surplus abroad, which contributes to reducing imports, saving hard currency, and achieving sustainable development goals. Egypt has been struggling with a water shortage and a food shortage. The United Nations warns that by 2025, the country would likely have exhausted its supply of drinkable water due to its severe water shortage. The government has apparently been restricting water in the country, purifying sea and lake water, and investing in cutting-edge irrigation technology to combat the issue. The country, which already imports more wheat than any other, is hoping to double its wheat production thanks to the New River. As part of its New Delta project, Egypt is cutting through the desert to build the world's largest man-made river in the country's remote northwest, close to the Daba nuclear power station. Egyptian agriculture has expanded in recent years to include the cultivation of 1.5 million acres using 80% non-renewable groundwater, most of which is in the western desert, according to Abbas Sharaki, a professor of water resources and irrigation at the University of Arizona. The second project, the New Delta, is located west of Alexandria and aims to irrigate 2.2 million acres using surface water from the Nile's Rashid branch as well as agricultural drainage water that has been purified by passing through the artificial river that will transport water from the world's largest treatment plant, the Al-Hammam facility. The Artificial River Project is one of the most significant engineering and economic endeavors in recent years, Sharaki elaborated. This massive engineering project consists of three channels built under quite different circumstances from the rest of Egypt's irrigation systems, and it carries water to arid lands more than 100 meters above the Nile River level. The first channel is 42 kilometers long, including 26 kilometers of pipes and 16 kilometers of open channels to transport about 10 million cubic meters from the Rashid branch within the Mostakbal Egypt project he explained, adding that this represents the first phase of the grand project in the New Delta, with a total of about 3.5 billion cubic meters annually to irrigate about 600,000 acres, in addition to groundwater wells to irrigate about 450,000 acres, with a total of 1.05 million acres. The second channel, beginning at Hammam Station and stretching for about 170 kilometers, transfers 7 million cubic meters per day, for a total of about 2.5 billion cubic meters, to the south of Daba in order to irrigate about 800,000 acres. This system consists of 22 kilometers of pipes measuring 220 kilometers in length and 3 meters in diameter, and 148 kilometers of open canal, with 13 water pumping stations. Moreover, the desalination of salty groundwater through 132 underground wells and three water pumping stations make up the third channel within the Janat Masser, Egypt Paradise Project, which is two pipelines with a length of 12 kilometers to irrigate about 64,000 acres, he said. He mentioned that the New Delta Project helps to close the food gap in conjunction with other agricultural initiatives and costs a total of LE 160 billion. Since the Nile's fixed annual share is only 55.5 billion cubic meters and the groundwater has considerable salinity, Cherokee has stated that providing the necessary water is the greatest issue at the present time. Thank you for watching this video. We hope you enjoyed it. Don't forget to let us know in the comments below what do you think about these exciting projects. And as always, stay tuned for more captivating videos coming your way soon. See you in the next video.